I think you're getting uh, the idea that we think this is a really bad idea. And as a grandmother of a 15-month-old, I can tell you it is such a bad idea. You know, in Tennessee, it's so interesting. This time of year, we're having church bazaars and Christmas programs and a lot of community events. And every single place I go, I have somebody who says, hey, is it really true that the federal government wants to take over child care? And the reason they're talking about this so much is quite simply, in Tennessee, the primary source of Mother's Day Out programs, of daycare programs, of after-school programs, is your local church. <clears throat> and that's where these are taking place. And that is where children are coming during the week. And many times, it is a bunch of grandmamas in the community that want to come love on these kids and help take care of these kids and likewise help educate these young moms about how to care for children. And what the federal government would do is would strip these grandmamas of a job that they are doing and they're loving doing. And it would strip these children of caregivers that are there to love and nurture them. That's a real loss. And it has a real cost. Now what the Democrats are trying to do in their BBB, I call it the bill back broke, what they're trying to do is take one vote. And in this one vote, they want to take government control of your children, of education, of your small business, of your bank account. It's their socialist agenda, 24-7, daylight to dark, cradle to grave. That is their goal. But who is going to be most adversely impacted by the bad decision-making of the Democratic Party? It is going to be children. It is going to be working parents who are going to be stripped of an opportunity to use child care right there in their local community that is being provided by their neighbors and friends that they trust.